again and welcome to GTTV. Today we're going to be interviewing Nigel Bateman. Hello Nigel. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to run through a series of acronyms starting with what does HBP stand for? HBP? Man, you're coming real easy with these questions, man. HBP is high bench press. High bench press. Of course. Mm. Mm. Next one. What does BCAA stand for? BCAA? Uh, you need to hit me with some harder questions, bro. BCAAs, that's because I'm awesome. Because I'm awesome. Toby! Use that in a sentence. I skip leg day and cardio because I'm awesome. Mm. Mm. Easy. Mm. Ha. Not only was that one incorrect, but you actually got both acronyms wrong. HBP stands for higher blood pressure. And BCAA stands for Branch Chain Amino Acids. I don't know where you got your information from, but it is totally incorrect. Nah. You lie. Are you, um, are you, are you serious? You know what? I'm done. I'm way too good for this. I'm done. This is over. This is not going on live. I'm there. Goodbye. resistance training, BCA supplementation can increase testosterone and reduce cortisol, your stress hormone, to create the perfect anabolic environment. We also know from studies that leucine stimulates the release of insulin, which also contributes to more growth. Unlike other amino acids, which are essentially the building blocks of proteins, BCAAs are metabolized with the muscle. They are most potent during exercise when your glycogen stores deplete and your body will use them for energy. If you're a carnivore, you can find BCAs in chicken and fish. But if you're building on a vegan, you can find leucine in soybeans and lentils, isoleucine in almonds, chickpeas and cashews, valine in peanuts, sesame seeds and lentils. So a meal with lentils and almonds could provide you with the amount of BCAs you need. Branch chain amino acids have also been associated with the simultaneous reduction of fat and growth of muscle, known as nutrient partitioning. In this scenario, they basically act as a nutritional Robin Hood, stealing energy from rich fat cells and giving it to undernourished muscle tissue. You see them sore arms the day after you work out, or those sore legs that prevent you from walking up the stairs. BCAAs help reduce that soreness. Most importantly, they allow you to train harder and recover faster which means maintaining those gains. Maintain those gains, baby! A BCAA overdose will leave you feeling fatigued and will lead to an increased production of ammonia. Don't need that drama. Don't pay attention or waste your money on these 411 blends. If you're up in the quantities for one, you must also do that for the rest, or you can actually have negative effects on protein synthesis. Stick with the widely available 211 ratio and you'll reap all the benefits. Those benefits. Some of those, some of those. Leg gains, ass gains. <laughs>
Yeah.